Hi, everybody. Today, I wanted to share with you something called a blind contour drawing. And this is a particular strategy of drawing that really gets your eye trained to look carefully at an object or um, you know, a person, but it really trains you to not look at your paper. So this is kind of, this is a tricky thing to do. And a lot of times artists do this as like a warm up to get them started to thinking about ideas or just, you know, just to do something just to keep you practicing and motivated to create. Um, sometimes I do these just because I think it's kind of fun and freeing. And again, it's like training your eye. So it's kind of like a, a practice drawing. And then you can turn them into an artwork too. Sometimes I do that as well. I take what I do as a practice and then I build on it and maybe I'll paint on it or I'll draw all over it. But I use pieces a little bit at a time to create an overall um, product. So that's sometimes what artists do. So I wanted to share with you some a uh, blind contour drawing that I did before. So blind meaning you're not looking at the paper. You don't want to close your eyes, right, and draw. You want to still look at um, the object or the sky or the tree, whatever you want to look at, but you don't want to look at your paper. And contour means that you are continuously using the same line. So that's hard. You don't get to go backwards. Um, you can pick up your pencil or your pen, but try to keep it on the paper so you can't erase. So it is, it's a tricky thing. And when you finish it, it may not look anything like the object, but that's okay. It's a training process. So I wanted to share with you, this was a blind contour drawing I did, oops, of my hand um, and kind of like a fist. So you can see I did try to find the fingers and I did, I can sort of see the thumb and it's in the shape of a fist, but you know, there's a lot of things that are missing, but it's relatively, you can see what it is, right? So I'm going to try to do my hand again because I think it's one of the, it's a good place to begin because it's right there. It's easy. You know, you're, you're not easy, but it's easier than maybe looking at a person's face or looking at a tree, but you're welcome to try those things. It's really, it can be kind of funny too. So it's a freeing exercise, like a drawing exercise. So what I'm going to do is come closer. I'm going to actually do this on the same piece of paper and I'm going to work right here. So I know you can't really, this might be upside down for you. I'm going to hold my hand. Let's see. I want it to be a little different than the last one. Holding your hand flat is actually super hard. So you kind of want to do some type of a pose with your hand. I think I'm going to try to do this. So once I put my pen down, I cannot pick it back up. And you're going to see it, right? I'm not going to see it. I'm going to try my best not to look at it. Even though I'm going to come up, I'm trying to work on my thumb. And I'm using a Sharpie, but I wouldn't advise using a Sharpie right away. But um, see what I'm doing? I'm not going backwards. You can go backwards if you want to show, if you forgot to um, show something. But you don't want to... Um, you don't want to pick up your, your pencil. So I'm going over to the other side. This is the other part of my hand. Going very slow. Notice I'm really trying to notice. And it's continuous. I'm not looking at my paper. I'm trying hard not to. If you find that you are, you can always have somebody cover up your paper while you, while you work. Or sometimes I've seen people use a paper plate as like a shield. I'm trying to get the little indentations of my palm. And my fingers have all the those little creases in them. Okay, let me see. I got to get back over here. So remember, this is a blind contour drawing. And artists do this for a practice or just to keep um, 
kind of just to help their skills. Just like you would practice if you are doing a sport, practice dribbling or practice shooting the basketball. So overall, it should take you to do this. It depends on what object you look at, but it might take you a couple of minutes to get the whole thing down. So I'm going to pick up my pencil. Wow, that looks kind of funny, right? Um, but you can tell that it's actually a hand, so you can tell. But I definitely missed some things. You know, I, I missed... Um, the indentations of my hands, but try it out. This is a fun, kind of a fun activity to really get you looking and learning. It's a drawing um, strategy or a drawing exercise. And I hope that you enjoy it. This is called a blind contour drawing. So good luck. And don't be worried if it doesn't look anything like the thing that you were looking at. That's okay. Just try to really focus on looking at the object and not on your paper. And um, don't worry about it. This is just, you know, it's a practice. It's an exercise. Just like anything else, the more you try, the more you work at it, the better it will um, better it will become. So I hope that you enjoy it. I'll talk to you soon.